things are bad and getting worse, but the, there is something that we can do about it. You have this impending sense of dooms that has come upon this country and you yeah. must solve this now, otherwise. I don't like this sort of like nationalistic view of let's let's help Haiti because Haiti's got it bad. For me, like people are people and people got it bad everywhere for the most part. The judgment that comes into deciding that someone needs help is where help goes wrong. It's been pretty clear that throwing money at things won't make problems go away. You can't just throw money at hunger and wait for it to go away. So we're trying to create something much more sustainable, but maybe a little bit less tangible. When you're angry about it and when you write about it, you're like really content with it and you think, yeah, I'm an activist. And then you go to a place like this where people are like really humbly living this sort of life on a full-time basis. We have to live more simply. And I think that Sadna Forest is a sort of model for how this can be done. Maybe it's not the model and it's not perfect, but... This is what I believe our ancestors had was this true knowledge of living, of, of just being and, and understanding how they can observe and interact in this world. Permaculture can definitely help us in this way. Sad the forest can help us in this way. This movement can be successful, but it won't be if it is completely radical as it is, if there's no transition, if there's no middle ground where people can come from. Like, do they have to come from complete urban living and Western developed life to acting like so many of the innovations in the last hundred years never happened? I don't think that it's utopian by any means. It's just, it will just be reality soon.